Hello everyone, Slomo here again with Skeleton Secrets and it's Boxing Day, that's right. We're playing Fire Pro Wrestling World. We're in boxing mode with the Italian stallion Rocky Balboa. It's uh, the day after Christmas, Boxing Day. So what better than celebrating by knocking seven bells of shit out of each other. Here I come. There's me in my boxing attire. So we're going with uh, one punch bingo. Slow-mo, atomic bomb. I'm going to fight. Rocky Balboa. Not a bad likeness to me, but it's uh, three, three minute rounds. Of Look, I'm knackered. Having a grapple. I'm going to get battered, obviously, because, uh, well, he's a professional boxer, world champion. Yeah. Giving him some good shots, sir. I... I love the Rocky films. Are you a fan? Have you seen them? I've, I think I've seen most of them. I'm not, not particularly a fan of them. Sports, in it. Well, yeah, but it's drama and it's pro wrestling in a lot. Well, the drama parts are the the parts that are interesting. It's pro wrestling in a lot of ways. All the characters and the promos. And yeah, stuff. Mr. T, Clubber Lang basically playing Mike Tyson before Mike Tyson existed yeah I mean a, a film and that's where he stole his character from Mike Tyson just thought I'm gonna do that I'm gonna be Mr. T <laughs> oh god I'm out is this it oh dear no I'm off I... <laughs> knackered well, that was after the bell as well mm. but, I mean think yeah Rocky 3 fights Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. <laughs> and in Rocky IV, he fights He-Man. <laughs> oh, am I out? Oh, dear. No, I'm up. Five. Oh, you're getting back up. I'm glad this is only three rounds. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Just hold him. No, I'm not I'm not taking a... I should be... should be taking a count. Should be... What if this ends up being a draw? What are the judges' scores? I think you've done more grapples than you have punches. <laughs> I'm exhausted, that's why. Does that count as a knockdown? Look at that! Rocky went down there. I want that to count. He didn't get it. You were allowed to do uh, over the heads hammer punch in boxing? <laughs> don't see why not. <laughs> I can't, I, I guess, I don't know how traditional these rules are because I've gone down four times. Um. In this round, this fight should have been stopped ages ago. Yeah. Now I'm getting a count. I guess this is like the second Five, official time. Six. Um. Oh, I'm going for that big uppercut, missing wildly. Five. Here we go then, the third and decisive round. Oh, he's too knocked him down straight away. I'm going to need a knockout, I think. <laughs> all, the, all the knockdowns have put Rocky ahead. Look, it's U United States against Great Britain. I'm going to let the whole country down. <laughs> he, oh! No, it wasn't a proper knockdown. He's still doing the wrestling stamps when you do, when you do a punch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how huge my legs are. <laughs> my legs are bigger than Rocky's waist. <laughs> you should have a massive weight advantage. Yeah, well, that's the thing in boxing, isn't it? Once you get to a certain weight level, there's like so few fighters. Like it's just super heavyweight, and it doesn't matter if you're like yeah seven foot three, four hundred pounds. It's like you've got nobody else to fight. Yeah, got a couple of good punches there. I'm actually going to go the distance. Maybe I should have set it to five rounds, but. There we go. I haven't been knocked out by Rocky Balboa. That's amazing. <laughs> well done. Very pleased with that. What happens now? Do we just stare at... Oh, there we, there we go. Draw. A draw? That's how boxing works. <laughs> well, so what's your judge's decision then? My judge's decision uh, is that you are the winner. 
<laughs> Congratulations. Very good. Very good. Right then, on to the next fight. This is the big one. All right, here we go with the second big fight tonight. And here comes the man himself, the plonker from Crinkly Bottom, Noel Dredmans. <laughs> <sighs> one of your favourite personalities? Yeah. Entering the ring of slime, <laughs> the gunge tank. That's not a bad canvas, is it? <laughs> and here he comes, Skeleton Secrets. <laughs> and his Mr. Blobby attire. Oh, I see. He's been blobbified. Snot pit. It. <laughs> oh, God. You don't even have boxing gloves, you've just got big circular fit. <laughs> Oh, three three-minute rounds, and you've got the opportunity to beat the living daylights. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> the point of his elbow right on your head. <laughs> so I haven't uh, modified Noel Edmonds from his wrestling character. Mm. So there's probably going to be a lot of grapples here. Now, I have appointed myself the judge. He kicked, he tried to do... He just tried to kick me. <laughs> Oh, that's that does seem like something Noel Edmonds would try to do. So, oh, I don't know how how I'm gonna score it, but but tell us about Noel Edmonds. Why why are you fighting him? Why don't you like him? Just hate Noel Edmonds. He's a fucking asshole. You used to watch Noel's house party, right? Look at him kicking away. Yeah, I suppose my childish uh, enjoyment of Noel's house party is completely steamrolled and tarmacked <laughs> compared to my adult hatred of Noel Edmonds. But how can you hate a man who runs a psychic dog hotline? <laughs> <laughs> That's part of it, where he's... you know, the, the, it, What really irritated me was the his magic cancer box. <laughs> where you get a magic box for two and a half grand... And it cures your cancer. And it cure. Oh, he had cancer. He had cancer because he was negative all the time, and that's why people get cancer. And it cured his cancer. And a bloke who had cancer, quite like extensive, serious cancer, said to him, No. And he said, Well, maybe the reason that you have got cancer is because you're so negative all the time. Which. It's just the like. Could you think of anything worse to say? Yeah, he. It's your fault for being. If you got cancer because you're miserable all the time. If you had this electric magic box, which cures your depression, you wouldn't have cancer. Yeah, he is a colossal shit box, uh, and then he produced one. <laughs> what? Would you have enjoyed it if he'd taken over the BBC? <laughs> Can you imagine that? So. I'm trying to judge this fight, and <laughs> I really, I really don't know how. I really don't know how. Well, that's that was an open hand chop. Yeah, that feels like it's probably illegal. That is definitely illegal. That's that's an elbow. You're not even allowed to do that in MMA. No. So would you have preferred to fight Noel Edmonds or would you have preferred to fight one of your heroes rather than one of your enemies like like Tom Stoltman oh yeah well Scotland's strongest man he's like he's like a foot taller than me I think he could just easily keep me out of reach in a boxing match his oh. arms are ridiculous length Three, four, five. I wonder if these fights are a bit too short and we're never going to see a knockout Mm -hmm. There's a huge shot. Yeah, even even with my revised uh, my revised billing weight from the doctors this morning, Tom Stoltman could still lift me up above his head. <laughs> as, as big and a big fat bastard as I am, he could still lift me up above his head, which feels ridiculous. <laughs> well there you go that's the conclusion of three rounds how do you feel not enough facial damage on Noel can Tom Stoltman fight Noel Edmonds next 
<laughs> I would watch that. Let's go to the judge's decision. I had, I probably had Edmonds ahead in round one, but he did use his elbow. And he had to be deducted a point, so I had it nine all. Yeah. The second round was terrible. I had that at nine all, and then you, um, you knocked him down twice in the third. So that was a ten seven. So the winner by unanimous decision is Skeleton Secrets. Yes, I'm the best. That means Noel's going to get a gungeon. <laughs> Put him in the gunge tank. There he is, all gunged up. <laughs> nice. A gunged Edmonds. When I ran a simulation of this yesterday just to test out the characters, you punched Noel Edmonds so hard that he started bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. All right, it's time for the epic main event. Now, we teamed up as a tag team. We beat the Road Warriors and we beat Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> then we wrestled each other. Yeah. I beat you. Yeah, you did. So, this is your chance for revenge here in boxing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. So, it's the big one. It's Slomo versus Skelly. Oh, mm. nice. It's the rematch. This time it's personal. This time it's Christmas. Here I come. I got me fresh, fresh pair of uh, shorts on, fresh vest. Oh my God! Look up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Re I didn't realise Mumra would look. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I honestly didn't know that it, it was. Um, you know, cave dwelling Mumra. There's <laughs> the rest. Just a little regular Mumra. <laughs> okay. Like your attire. Doing my signature pose. Bye. Here we go then. The chance to do what you've always wanted to do. Yeah. Getting me to do all these YouTube videos. Teach you, I'll teach you a lesson in my pink high heels. <laughs> Uh, amazing. Well, this is usually what you look like at the end of uh, Boxing Day. <laughs> you, go, you go a bit overboard on Christmas and this is how you end up. You remember how I looked at the uh, Christmas party when we did the New Year's thing in uh, Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, come on, that's disqualification. That should be a disqualification, absolutely. I think... Roundhouse kick. I think S1 rules is K1. Mm. Uh, and I think it's like a MMA, like kickboxing kind of thing from Japan. Yeah. Which is why I think it's okay. I think you're supposed to set your characters to not have kicks if you just want them to be boxers. Yeah. Which is why I think Noel Edmonds got away with it and why you've got away with it. You can't do that kick with high heels on. Go right through me chin. <laughs> Seem like it would be deadly. Now I'm worried that we've got too much bulk and not enough power to actually knock each other out. <laughs> this is going to go on for a while. There's going to be a lot of hugging. A lot of hugging. We're just making it up to each other. <laughs> Sorry that I got you to play all those sports games. <laughs> Well, not exactly the fight of the century, is it? It's a hugging competition. You'll have to keep a tally of who does the most hugs <laughs> and then declare them the winner. We do a few hugs and then one of us does a tiny little jab. Look at that. <laughs> well, there's almost two punches in a row then. <laughs> <laughs> is this what a boxing fight would look like between us? <laughs> Do you know why they do? Do you know why they do the hugs and the clenches, so that they can't get punched? Yeah. Oh, right at the bell. Oh dear. Come on, hit him back. Punch him in the face. I don't know how we're going to judge this. We might have to ask the audience. Let us know who you think wins the fight. <laughs> oh, I think I'm doing all right with the body shots. Yeah. 
I need to get back on the body shots. They've worked for me. Nah, just a cuddle. Just a snuggle. <laughs> Cozy Christmas cuddle. Get under the blankets. Watch a bit of Netflix. I like your dicky bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm a gentleman boxer like Chris Eubank. <laughs> I hope the noise gate on my microphone didn't cut the word bar out of that. <laughs> God, what a fight. What a fight this is. So I've got a couple of knockdowns to my name. I kind of wish it had a a judging system in the game and didn't just call it a draw. Um, I feel like that's where it's going. Yeah. I suppose that's the the pitfalls of playing boxing in a wrestling game. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Rather than there must be a boxing game with creator character. Oh, oh he's down. Oh no. Actual Wait. knockdown. Well, that's a big round for you. Going down again. Could be about to get even bigger. Two, three, four. What a comeback. Wow, I need to hang on. That, oh. No, I'm not, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. That can't be allowed, surely. <laughs> Dreadful. Knockout. Unbelievable. Yeah, I should have taken those kicks out. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, there you go. 74%. Wasn't as good as the fight I had with Rocky, apparently. Mm -hmm. Despite the spectacular high-heeled super kick. <laughs> Teeth shatterer. 2 minutes 26 of the fourth round. If I'd put it at three rounds... I would have won. Oh, yeah. Because I had two knockdowns going into the fourth. Yeah. Unbelievable. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel, ding the bell and all that. We might do some more Fire Pro in the future, you know, because this also has an MMA mode. Oh. So we could settle this. If we're one apiece now, we could get in the cage. Yeah, we need the uh, tiebreaker. In the meantime, once again, thank you very much for watching. Bye.